Hi, grade six. How are you? This is Mrs. Moha, your English teacher. I hope everything is fine with you and everything is okay. Today we'll have a grammar lesson, dependent and independent clauses. So let's start our lesson. Uh, first one, John arrived at a party. Do you have here a subject? Yes, we have John. So John is a subject. Okay, do you have a predicate here? Yes, arrived at the party. So we have a predicate. Do you have a complete meaning or complete idea? Yes, John arrived at the party. I have a complete sentence. I have a complete idea. I have a complete meaning. So I have an independent clause. Uh, let's move to the second part. When John arrived at the party. Okay, when John arrived at the party, what happened here? I've added subordinate conjunction when. And now I don't understand the rest of the sentence. When John arrived at the party, what happened? So I'm waiting to know the rest of the sentence. So once I add a subordinate conjunction to independent clause, it becomes a dependent clause. So when John arrived at the party, what happened? We started to sing for him. Okay, now I have a complete meaning. I have a complete idea. Now it's clear for me what happened to John when he arrived at the party. So once you add a subordinate conjunction to the independent sentence, it becomes dependent one. Okay, so here I have a dependent clause and independent clause. Together they make a complex sentence. Let's move to another example. I was tired. Okay, so do you have here a subject? Yes, I have I. Do you have a predicate? Was tired. So, subject and predicate together and the complete meanings we have an independent clause. Okay, although I was tired. Now, I've added a supporting conjunction. What happened to the sentence? There is something missing. Okay, there is something missing in the meaning. I don't have a complete idea here. Okay. So, although I was tired, I couldn't fall asleep. Now I have a complete meaning. I have a complete idea. Okay. So, together, I have a dependent clause and independent clause. Together, they form a complex sentence. Okay, dear. Uh, just notice, once you add a subordinate conjunction to independent sentence, it becomes dependent clause. Okay, it was dark. Do you have here a subject? Yes, it. Do you have a predicate? Yes, was. So you have a subject and predicate. Do you have a complete meaning? It was dark. Yes, I understood the idea. Okay, so it's independent clause. Now, let's add the supporting conjunction to the same sentence. Because it was dark, what happened here? There, there's something missing. Okay, the meaning is not complete. I don't have a complete proof. So, because it was dark, we couldn't see the trail. Okay, so now I have a dependent clause together with an independent clause. They form a complex sentence at the end. Okay, and this one is called dependent clause because it needs another sentence to depend on it. Just to get the, the whole meaning of the, of the sentence itself. Okay, now... Subordinate conjunctions, like we have many examples of subordinate conjunctions, like before, after, while, until, although, when, as, if, because, and since. Notes: the subordinate conjunction can appear at the beginning or in the middle of complex sentence. Example: because she was hungry, comma, she ate a snack. Okay, you here you will find it at the beginning of the sentence. Second one, she ate a snack because she was hungry. Okay, you will find it here in the middle. So, subordinate conjunctions can come at the beginning or in the middle of any complex sentence. We have here another note. If the conjunction begins the sentence, you should use comma after the last word in the independent, in the dependent clause. Okay, example, because she was hungry, Comma, she ate a snack. Okay, now because is subordinated conjunction, it's at the beginning of the dependent clause. Because uh, as we know that the dependent clause 
comes after the subordinate conjunction directly, okay? So you have to add here a comma after the dependent clause, then you have to continue your sentence, okay? So once you have a subordinate conjunction at the beginning of the sentence, you have to add comma after the dependent clause. Now, let's say have uh, exercise, okay? So uh, circle the dependent clauses and underline the independent clauses in the sentence below. Number one, before we knew it, we were lost. Now let's do some exercise. Circle the dependent clauses and underline the independent clauses in the sentences below. Number one, before we knew it, we were lost. Okay, now, where is the dependent clause? Dependent clause usually comes after the subordinate conjunction. Before we knew it, we knew what? We don't know. So the first one here is dependent clause. We were lost, and this is the, we have here subject and predicate, and we have a complete meaning, so this is the independent clause, so you have to underline it. Let's move to number two. While the others searched for a way to shore, okay, I looked at the sky to find my direction. Okay, where is the subordinate here? Uh, conjunction, it's while, and after the subordinate conjunction, we have the dependent clause, which the others the others searched for a way to shore, so this is the dependent clause, okay? I looked at the sky to find my directions, so I have here I, which is subject, looked at the sky, the predicate, and once you read the sentence alone, I looked at the sky to find my directions, you will find a complete meaning for a complete thought, so it's independent clause. Number three, after I looked up, I realized we were heading in the wrong direction. Okay, so after here is subordinate conjunction, and after subordinate conjunction, we have dependent clause. So together, this is there, dependent clause, you have to circle, to circle this one. Okay, second part, I realized we were heading in the wrong direction. We have subject, predicate, and complete meaning. To, this is a, uh, an independent clause. Okay, number four, locus agreed until I showed him the map. Okay, so Lucas disagreed. <clears throat> Number four, Lucas disagreed until I showed him the map. Okay, where is the subordinate <laughs> conjunction here? Is until. And after the subordinate conjunction, we have the dependent clause. So until I showed him the map, so this is the dependent clause, what happened? Locus disagreed, and this is the dependent or independent. Number four, Locus disagreed until I showed him the map. Lucas is subject and agreed is a predicate. So this is a complete sentence or a complete thought. So it's independent sentence or independent clause. So you have to underline this independent clause until I showed him the map. Okay, so here we have a subordinate conjunction until and after the subordinate conjunction you will find a dependent clause. Okay, because it depends on the first part of the sentence, which is the independent clause. So, uh, until I showed him the map would be a dependent clause. Number five, when I started to let the group, everyone was suspicious. Okay, when is subordinate conjunction, and then we have a dependent clause. When I started to let the group, what happened? Everyone was suspicious. So, this is independent one. Number six, TG caught some fish while I work it on the boat. TG caught some fish, we have your subject and predicate, so we have independent clause. And while I work it on the boat, so we have your subordinate conjunction, and after subordinate conjunction, we have a dependent clause, so just circle the dependent clause.
Let's move to another exercise, circle subordinating conjunctions in the complex sentences below. If the sentence is missing a comma, add one. Uh, I just need to remember you, you have to add comma if the subordinated conjunction come at the beginning of uh, if <coughs> Let's move to another exercise, circle the subordinated conjunctions in the complex sentences. Below, if the sentence is missing a comma, add one. Guys, you just need to remember that you add comma if the subordinated conjunction comes at the beginning of the sentence. Okay? Number one. Many packed supplies for the island while I made dinner. Where is the subordinated conjunction? It's while. Okay? And it usually comes before... The dependent clause. Number two. After we finished school, we headed home to pack. Okay, where is the subordinated conjunction? It's after, and it comes at the beginning of the sentence. So I have to add comma after the dependent clause that comes after the word after. So it will here after we finish school, comma we headed home to pack. Number three. We waited to eat until John arrived. Okay, where is the subordinate conjunction? It's until. Okay, do I have to add any commas? Of course, no, because it comes in the middle of the sentence. Number four, if John would have been any later, the food would have gotten cold. Okay, the subordinate conjunction here is if. Okay, and once it comes at the beginning, you have to add comma after the dependent clause. So, if John would have been a later, okay, this is the end of the dependent clause, so you have to add comma, the food would have gotten cold. Number five, although I was tired, I couldn't fall asleep. Okay, so although is a positive conjunction, circle this conjunction, then add comma after the dependent clause. I was tired. Number six, we woke up early because we were so excited. Here the subordinated conjunction is because and it comes in the middle of the sentence, so I don't have to add anything. Number seven. My dad drove us until we arrived at the shore, until here is a subordinate conjunction, just circle it. The last one, number eight. As we pulled up the docks, I could see nothing but the ocean and boats. So as is a subordinate conjunction, and you have to add comma after the last word of the dependent clause, as we pulled up the docks, I could comma, I could see nothing nothing but the ocean and boats. Okay, uh, guys, now we have finished our lesson. I hope everything is easy for you. If you need any help, just contact me. But you have, I just need to uh, tell you that you have homework, uh, pages 104 and 105 in the reader's notebook. Thank you very much for watching the video and have a nice day. Thank you very much.